and sit down. Well, this is the trick. So it's got multiple colors at once. We use a sponge and we apply moisture to both. And then we just kind of glide along it. And then I'm going to lay it on the face. So this is where I start. I'm gonna lay it diagonally. And then I'm just gonna pat it down. We're using this color, this flame color. It's kind of, um, it's a nice color, you know, considering how cold it is outside. This is going to be a warm, something warm. So here we get a nice butterfly shape. And I'm going to do the other side of the face. I'm just going diagonal from the corner of the eye, laying my sponge down and patting down. Laying my sponge down again. Patting upwards. get a nice butterfly wing. And you see already alone, that looks like a really beautiful design. That's how easy it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some basic line work. And the, the reason I wanted to show this tutorial is because these lines are pretty much the basics and the essentials of all face paint designs. Any time that I train a new face painter or somebody who wants to learn, the first thing I teach them are thick and thin lines, um, dots, teardrops, and starbursts. Um, all those four things can just be positioned differently in any design to um, make something. Once you learn a thick and thin line, a teardrop and a dot, you can just reposition it in different ways to create a Spider-Man, a butterfly mask, um, a princess mask, um, anything that their heart desires. So I'm going to go ahead and with the line work, now that I've got that on, I'm actually going to, with another clean sponge, I'm just going to clean up a little line right here. And again, this is just a synthetic sponge with water. I'm just using water and I'm using a black, this is a solid pot of paint. And I'm going to start with teardrops. And I'm just going to repeat at the bottom. Next, I'm going to do some thick and thin lines. I'm going to do the antennae. So see how I start thin, I press and go thick, and then I end thin. And then I'm just going to do dots. So I'm going to lay my brush down and press. And the lighter that I touch, the smaller the dot. I'm going to do some round, thick and thin lines here. I'm going to repeat the same below. And if you notice, what I do is this corner of the eye is kind of the focal point, so everything that I do kind of goes that direction. It's in a very important part of face painting and making your designs um, impressive. And another good tip that you will find from the wonderful online tutorials. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this and this. I'm gonna do the same down here. Just to keep it uniform. So now we've got kind of our basic lines and what I would do to beautify this up is I could add glitter. Um, we have dry glitter and we also have um, cosmetic glitter and this is um, called Glitter Mark. It's a glitter gel. Um, one of the most renowned face painters in the industry, Mark Reed, this is his product that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight a lot of these black lines because they do disappear in the design a little bit. When I add this glitter mark, it's going to make it pop. So I'm going to start on this side. And all I'm going to do is just kind of go along the edge of this teardrop. And I'm going to follow 
draw the edge of my connection. And if you'll notice, the hardest thing about what we do is painting in the air, like a lot of makeup artists. So one of the most important things is to keep a dry area on the nose. Anything we paint, we usually do this area last. Because if you'll notice, I use my pinky to balance my hand. When you normally paint or draw, you put the side of your hand, um, you rest it on the paper for balance. You can't do that with the face, or else you'll mess up your design. So I'm finding a dry spot. You'll see me all around her face, just to balance my finger. And I'm just following around these teardrops. I have to be careful, I touched up here and then I'll, I could cause black smudges on her face. And you see, just with this simple embellishment, how it takes this really fast design. And I can add little dots. And I can go um, large to small. I can do teardrop here you can get as creative as you can as you like but again you know like in anything in any composition there's some basic elements you know you want your lines to start thin and and um, start and end thin um, you want to have a focal point I'll tie in because there's nothing in here I'll just use some small dots and I'll go from large to small I can add some highlighting um, this is an important trick it's very nice because there's always going to be a photograph it's always going to finish with a photograph and one thing that I've learned is that if um, from another online favorite um, teacher, Beck Star, she has basics and she'll teach you how to do four different kinds of starbursts. And I always pass these on to all my friends. And so if you add these simple starbursts, when a photo is taken, it automatically gives an illusion of, of shine. They're just the smallest embellishments that can really set things apart. fill in areas. The most important thing I think with dots we always pass on is vary your sizes. So we're going to have a dot, you want a large one along with some small ones. And odd numbers are always better than even numbers. So open your eyes and look up.